in, only in Hawaii, man. We got chickens on the road. <laughs> whoa, whoa, watch your step. <laughs> I got that recorded. Okay. Okay, sounds good. I'll contact my plumber. Okay, thank you, Jocelyn. Okay, bye bye. This guy being a landlord. <laughs> 20 years old, man. How's being a landlord so far? Dude, it's. Um, kind of, it's not it's, what I expected. Yeah. It's mostly like working with people and getting yeah. things like. <laughs> What's up guys, Jeremy here. Welcome back to my channel. And right now I am inside Travis's fiveplex that he just bought for $1.3 million. And here's the crazy part. Travis is only 20 years old. In this video, we're gonna talk about how he bought this, how he got the money for a $600,000 down payment, and the whole history and background about the process of buying this. So before we do that, I'm gonna need you to smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. And while you're at it, go ahead and follow me on all my social media platforms, and go ahead and follow Travis on all of his social media platforms as well. Thank you. Right over here is the triplex. Triplex. Yeah, okay. so three, two bedroom and one bath. Um, I believe it's 500 square feet each unit. Okay. Um, yeah. So, I know the, the seller, he also owned this property too. So yeah, Travis, tell us about, I guess, the beginning, like, you know, you're 20 years old. Mm -hmm. How does someone so young like you understand, you know, like real estate and, you know, investing and all of that? So I guess, give us a background, yeah. like when you were 18. So when I was 18, I just graduated high school, um, you know, living in Hawaii, the price of living is so expensive oh, yeah. and you know I just were I was just worrying like if I get a normal job work a normal nine to five how I, how am I possibly gonna afford living in Hawaii and this property just got sold from what I heard talking to some of the people here mm. um, they are they're gonna demolish this and build an apartment complex oh, wow. yeah so hopefully that will add some Raise value, value. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> nice yeah but if you look around here there's a lot of apartment buildings over here I just wanted to focus on something that I can control my income. Okay. So you know, like building a business. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't want to trade my my hours for dollars. Yeah, um, smart. Yeah, I want to work smarter, not harder. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and that's what I was really looking for. Okay. Um, yeah, something where nice. I can really um, put all my effort into and have something to show you oh, know yeah. like if you're working a nine to five you know you put all these hours in but at the end of it you know there's nothing to show but yeah. if you start a business exactly. you know you build that business from the ground up you so you knew right it. away i guess after high school you didn't you didn't want to go to college yeah okay no, no, but no. did did you go yeah i went to lcc okay. because community, community college yeah, yeah. Um, my parents made me okay, okay. yeah <laughs> i was kind of forced by my parents to go to college okay like um, every Asian, yeah, yeah. you know, kid, Asian, you know, yeah. Asian parent. <laughs> yeah, so I went to college, um, got three Fs. Um, so okay. Parents aren't happy about yeah, that. Yeah, weren't happy, so technically didn't drop out. Okay. Just didn't sign up for the next year. <laughs> Not college dropout. I no, just never signed up yeah, yeah. for the next year. Yeah. You can't drop out if you don't sign yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is the three bedroom, two bath, and the top is one bedroom, one bath. Yeah, and every unit has their own washer and dryer. Okay. Yeah, so that's a, that's what um, people are looking for when they're renting a place too. What I noticed. Yeah. This unit right here actually has two parking. This one and this one. Tandem parking. All right, we're going inside one of the units. You didn't sign up for the next mm -hmm. semester. Mm -hmm. What's going through your mind now? What do you want to do? Um. Well, I did a whole bunch of like internships. Okay. So I worked at my uncle's painting company. Nice. Um, we did some housing, mm -hmm. painting, painting, residential housing. That was for like two months. Um, I also worked at an orthodontist office. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is right before I graduated, sorry. Okay. Um, yeah, I just wanted to go to experience every single different like trade, went through the medical, you yeah. know, at the dentist's office, construction with yeah. the painting. Just trying to figure it out. Yeah, figure it out. Okay. Um, I knew that I didn't want to sit in an office all day. Yeah. Were your parents mad that you didn't sign up for the for next, college? Yeah. Um, or were they like, ah, oh, you try? Like, yeah, honestly, they were like, 
you try. Okay. If it's not right for you, then you know it's it's not right for you. Okay. Um, they don't good. they don't want to waste money. Yeah. Or something that, that's smart. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and so I I decided like if I'm not gonna go to college, I might as well start working. Mm -hmm. um, I tried to find the most highest paying job mm -hmm. as possible with somebody with no degree and so young. Mm -hmm. you know, at the time, I was what eighteen or nineteen years old. Yeah. Um, so I became a server at a restaurant, and okay. then I was making 150, uh, 120, 150 a night. Okay. okay. Um, worked four to five days a week. Um, worked there for for one year. Mm -hmm. That one year working there, I saved up about ten, fifteen thousand dollars. Wow. And yeah. what did you do with all that money? Oh, uh, straight to Tesla stock. <laughs> Tesla stock and options. Yeah. Right. So you were telling me before I was recording this, you know why you like Tesla. So tell me a little bit about that. So I was really into cars. Um, I liked GTRs, you know, yeah. all the JVM stuff. Yeah. Um, and I watched this video of a Model S beating a Nissan GTR. Oh yeah. And I thought that was fake. <laughs> and I was really pissed off. I was a Tesla hater at first. Oh wow, okay. I thought, how can an electric car beat a Nissan GTR? Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so I started looking into Tesla. I'm like, wait, this car beat a GTR uh -huh. and it cost Ninety thousand dollars. Yeah, like that's crazy. So this is a two bedroom, one bath. Um, we're gonna be redoing these floors. Um, and this floor is kind of really bust up. And it's not leveled at all. So oh, we yeah. have to level it, get a new subfloor installed. Um, we're going with the same color as this to match the walls. Yeah. Yeah, weird, yeah, these <laughs> kind of like walls. Floor yeah. on the wall. And we're also going to be um, painting these cabinets. So, yeah, this is going to be my first attempt at <laughs> painting kitchen cabinets. So I'm just thinking about, you know, taking these all home and sanding it down myself. Yourself? Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> this Dude, put it in that work. Yeah. I love it. Yeah, got to, blinds are a little bit dirty. We're going to clean up the blinds, wipe down everything. Um, Crack or replacing this um, oven and stove. I think it's like five hundred dollars for this twenty-four inch. Yeah. yeah. So not 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 that bad. And this new range too got installed. I think twenty nineteen. So awesome. Started looking up into um, Tesla. Mm -hmm. Went to the Alamona store. Got mm -hmm. into the Tesla, and couldn't believe how different it was yeah. from a regular car right. you know, it's like going from a flip phone to an iphone yeah <laughs> you know, it's like a computer on wheels so um started researching about tesla once i bought my first or i bought my first stock then i just started becoming like the biggest tesla fan researching everything i no. could about tesla and this is when you're like what 19 18, 19, 18, 19. Yeah. and yeah. that's when you first started investing in tesla stock yeah okay and there's a funny there's a funny story so the day I turned 18, mm -hmm. I knew I, I wanted to trade stocks. Nice. Um, before, before 18, I asked my parents, can I open a stock account in your name? <laughs> I put the money in. And they're like, hell no. Oh, you're going to wow. get, get us in trouble. And yeah. So, and, and yeah, so, <laughs> yeah. And I, so I called T Ameritrade to open my account on my 18th birthday. Nice. Because I was having problems setting it up online. Yeah. And the guy's like, you know what? I don't think we ever experienced this problem anymore, ever. Like, nobody c contacted us on their birthday to set up the TD Ameritrade account. So I had to wait to the next day oh, my birthday wow. so I can like, put in money. For you just wanted to go right away. Yeah, yeah. Nice, yeah. nice. So I guess, so now you're investing in Tesla mm -hmm. and where does it get to the point where you start seeing like really good money getting, you know, Yeah, so profit? I started buying Tesla around to um, 200 or 300 uh -huh. that range um, I don't know exactly where my cost basis is but mm -hmm. in that range yeah but every any type of income you made from the restaurant you just straight to Tesla yeah. okay. I got the tips from that day the next day I'll go to the <laughs> bank put it deposit in my checkings account yeah. and it's transferred over to the TD Ameritrade and instantly buy a Tesla stock. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Every single, it was like a weekly ritual. Uh -huh. No matter what the price of Tesla was, wow. I just bought it. Yeah. <laughs> it kind of, that, that goes, the, that, that's still the same way today. Yeah. Like whatever extra money I have, no matter the price of Tesla, okay. I'm just putting it all into it. Wow. Yeah. And then, so, uh, obviously, for everyone watching, we all know what happened to Tesla yeah. later and where it's at now. Yeah. So, coming into this quarter mm -hmm. it hits 900 yeah 
So it hits 900. What um, happens to you then? My account that was about 10,000, 15,000 from 2018 turned into close to 3.5 million. <gasps> yeah. Travis is a millionaire. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> so, you know, when, when you're, before, sorry, before it even hit 3.5 million, it yeah. hit a million. Uh -huh. And at the time I was 19, yeah. I was working at Cuneo. Or, or at the restaurant yeah. and... What were your, what was your feelings like Well, that? you know, when you have a million dollars in stock yeah. and... Your you, restaurant. You're paying, yeah. you're getting paid $150 a night. It feels like nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. So yeah. like, I was, yeah. And it's really stressful. If, if you ever worked at a restaurant before, it's really stressful. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I just hate it. So quit that job. Nice. And um, now my main job is managing God. this property. Nice. Yeah. So hits 3.2 million, you know, you're like, okay, what made you want to uh, buy the property? Because that's okay. yeah, yeah. Right. So, um, so I made a lot of money and I decided that, you know, if, if Tesla goes to zero, mm -hmm. then I'm not going to have anything to show yeah. for all of this money. It should be a crazy story. Yeah. It would be a crazy <laughs> story. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I decided to take out twenty five percent of that money Smart. into some real estate. Okay. Um, but you know what? If I sold that stuff and I bought back now, I mm -hmm. think I would have made more money. <laughs> but it's okay, you know. Yeah, real estate okay. is, you know, it's safe. Yeah, it's safe. And it's, yeah. you know, it builds wealth and it's getting cash flow. Yeah. yeah. And you obviously know that young age. How did you learn, or how did what you know? How did you learn about real estate investing and all okay, that? Okay, so um, learn. A lot of it was like people that talked about stocks mm -hmm. on YouTube. I really wanted to get it. I was really into stocks and they had also talked about real estate. Mm -hmm. You know, they kind of go hand Yeah, people yeah. handle it. So hand YouTube, stuff. basically. Yeah, YouTube. Yeah. So you can learn so much everything is on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, everything is on YouTube. <laughs> yeah. Then I saw Jeremy's post on hey. Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about how he's. Or how, how I was like maybe 20, 24, at the time, 24, 24, 25. Yep. Yep. That's when I was like talking about like, oh, I want to sell 5 million in yeah. real estate. Yeah. And I like in the grand scheme of things, that's really not that much. But when I was young, I was like, oh my God, like I need to like hit these goals. Yeah. You know? yeah. I'm very ambitious. Yeah, that, but yeah. those posts really inspired me, bro. Like, oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Like I saw the post and I was like, bro, if this guy can do it, yeah, I can do it too. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's, it's not rocket science. Yeah. As long as you learn and you know what you're doing yeah. and you apply it. But at the same time, when you apply it, like we still really don't know what we're doing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Each unit has their own backyard space. Um, this is this unit's washer and dryer right in here. Yeah, a lot of a lot of storage space. This this unit also has um C, which is good too. And also storage space. Yep. Yeah, nice little spot you can have some yeah. barbecues or something. Oh, yeah, <laughs> so this is the bathroom. Um, the flooring is, we're also doing the flooring in here, um, it has a lot of water damage. What I think is, you know, is coming down from over here and running off and just kept on pouring into here, that right over sense. here and here, yeah. yeah. And then what I'm going to do is I got some Clorox and I'm going to be spraying it down and scrubbing nice. probably <laughs> tomorrow or... Yourself. Yeah. Man, this yeah. guy, yeah. hard working. Yeah. Um, other than that, I think we're just gonna paint, just oh, yeah. one more coating of paint. Definitely. Um, I'm gonna be trimming these doors because this, the flooring is gonna raise it a little bit. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna have to trim maybe a quarter or half an inch off the every door. But I was thinking, you know, it might be just easier just buying brand new doors. Oh yeah. Yes. yeah. Yesterday, we actually just finished getting the property brought up to code by uh, an electric company. Oh, nice. So, yeah, electrical, it's good to go. We're just waiting for the floors, nice. do the shower, and repaint the whole place. So tell me about the process of, uh, so now you cashed out 25% of mm -hmm. your portfolio and you want to put into real estate. Tell me about the process of finding this oh, okay. uh, property that we're in right now. Yeah, so 
I contacted my uncle who's a real estate agent mm -hmm. and I told him that I was looking to buy a property mm -hmm. and at the time I think I only this is when it was still growing yeah. so I didn't have as much capital as I do now mm -hmm. so I told him you know in a few months I'm gonna I'm gonna be ready to buy a property. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm gonna take some of this money out and put it into a property. And he said, "Okay, um, our our um, brokerage has some properties listed, mm -hmm. and I asked to take a look at this one, which was listed. Um, this one was sitting on the market for a really long time. Um, there's no offers on it, mm -hmm. and it was being on Zillow. It was advertised as a six cap. Okay. So." Yeah. You know, anything over four, yeah. you're gonna be yeah. to it in Hawaii. Yeah. So for everyone watching, you know, uh, a six a six cap is basically the percentage of return you're going to get in Hawaii. It is almost impossible to find anything over four or five percent, even. So when you saw this and you saw it was a six cap, I'm sure that kind of made you know, yeah. like the flags go. Oh, yeah. We should check this out. Yeah, but it was also turning me off too because. Um, I was, we saw it on the market for so long. Yeah, you know, yeah. Running, you know, six cap in the point, somebody would just pick it up. And, um, you know, like I was telling you earlier, I, I think it was because of, you know, the area. Yeah. They just saw Lakeview and they just drove by and they didn't think anything about it. They just looked at the front. Yeah. And they're like, no way. It's like, yeah. <laughs> they didn't even want to see inside. Yeah. There's this loop right over here. Um, and the property is located in this, like, own private cul de sac. So it's kind of good, you know. It's separated from, you know, this area. Not as busy. And it's raining. <laughs> yeah, it's raining. A lot of street parking, oh, yeah. which is good. So I remember you saying you're gonna um, renovate this to be rental grade. Yes. So could you describe what rental grade is for people watching and why yes. you just do that? What I did was I looked at the comps. Smart. Of these, um, of the same two bedroom, one bath. Mm -hmm in this area and a lot of them had new flooring nice and was renting for the same price as oh, wow. this so i think you know to compete our would maybe even solve yeah because you don't want to go all out yeah just do like simple enough for a tenant to yeah. move in be happy yeah. but little do they know you know this is a hidden gem hidden gem yeah <laughs> and my view is this is right along the lake mm -hmm. you know in in the future in hawaii um there's only two lakes, yeah. Lake Wilson um, yeah. and what is it, Enchanted Lake? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. Kailua, mm -hmm. and I think, if I'm not mistaken, this is the only A2 zoning where you're on a lakefront property. Yeah. yeah. So nice. yeah, you did your that, research. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> that lake, that lakefront will be like you know yeah, in yeah. demand. Get some added value to that. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So you found this. And I guess, what was the process like getting pre-approved for it? Oh, okay, so... Because you said that was a challenge, right? Yeah, so I don't, I didn't have a job. Um, I quit my job. So I didn't have a job. I wasn't working. Mm -hmm. um, couldn't use my stock income uh, to qualify for this property because I think my lender said we needed three years. Oh, wow. Of, yeah, and I think I only had two years of tax returns at that time. Okay. So I had all this cash, but... You know, I wouldn't be able to get approved because I had no income. Mm -hmm. So I asked my dad, you know, would he be able to co-sign yeah. for me? Um, so that's what he did. So oh, I wow. used my dad's okay, income yeah. and And just all of your me. cash. Yeah. Not so the down good. payment was um, six hundred thousand, <laughs> and I got a loan for seven hundred thousand. Oh, oh, sorry. Then we added on the fifteen thousand to the down payment. Yeah. For, um, uh, the earnest money 15, deposit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Fifteen thousand yeah. over the asking we added on to plus wow. Okay. So you found this, put an offer, and they accepted yeah. right away. So they actually, uh, oh, put in the offer, mm -hmm. and listing agent notified me that you know there's there's another offer coming oh. in. So you had to so, fight. Yeah, I had to fight. So we didn't get approved. So we didn't get approved yet. Mm -hmm. um, when when we got noticed that another offer was coming in, mm -hmm. so we kind of needed to like rethink like, yeah. how we're gonna do this because like, your feet. it's cash yeah. cash offer. So yeah. I was thinking like you know this market would, or this this property was listed on the, um, for so long. Uh -huh. If they're gonna get a cash offer and it's at his price, he's just gonna take it. Yeah. So I said, you know what? This is a six cap. It's not actually a six cap. It's like a six point like 
seven or eight cap. Ooh. Yeah. So fifteen thousand dollars will not make a difference. Yes, yeah, because this is vacant. Yeah. So yeah. It's, there's more potential. Yeah, oh well. Um, at the time, this was. Oh, th this area was taken. Yeah, this okay, was okay, taken. Okay. So nice. this area was counted into the okay. cap rate. Yeah. Nice. But um, yeah, that uh, the cash offer was coming, and mm -hmm. so decided to go. I decided, or I asked my lender, like, oh, you know, do you really think we're gonna get approved for mm -hmm. this loan? He said, I, I'm kind of 100% sure that you guys are gonna get approved. Okay. So the way we wrote up the contract was saying, we're gonna offer 1.315 million mm -hmm. cash if we don't, if we're not able to get the funding. Cut. But if we're able to get the funding, 1.3. Yeah, 1.315 okay. still. Oh, still, yeah, okay, still. okay. Yeah. Nice, that was like still, a little over asking. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I just wanted that like safety net that I'm for sure they're gonna get the property. Okay, okay. Yeah. Because I'm assuming that cash offer was probably gonna try to lowball them, huh? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. So you were like, screw it, let's just let's just get it. Wow. Yeah. Nice. So when you were um, in escrow buying this, I'm guessing you're doing the inspections. Oh yeah. Was there ever a time like you wanted to back out? Um. Yes, there was. <laughs> there was. There was. There was a lot of times I wanted to back out. Okay. It was mostly because of the price of Tesla. Oh yeah. <laughs> I sold six hundred thousand dollars of Tesla stock to uh -huh. buy this property, and the lower Tesla would go. It's like ooh. I, yeah. Buy the dip. Buy the dip. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's the most nice. Okay. Uh, that's what mostly made me wanna. Okay, buy. so there wasn't something about the property that made you wanna back yeah, in. Yeah. So um, when we did the inspection, everything came out okay. Um. There's just a lot of, you know, it's built in, so that building was built in 1952. Mm -hmm. This one was built in 1960, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, for a property that's over 50 years, 60 years old, yeah. you know, there's going to be a lot of um, wear and tear. Wear and tear yeah. yeah, But it was just, you know, termite damage, water, water damage, uh -huh. um, some wood rotting. Nice. Um, little issues like that, but nothing major. Oh yeah, yeah okay, so okay. That's what I was happy about when, when we saw the inspection. Cool. So um, you're pretty confident when you were buying this? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Really confident, yeah. Man, 20 years old, confident, <laughs> buying 1.3 million. Yeah, I, you know, with this kind of property, it's, you know, it's, you're not dealing with multiple stories. Yeah. So yeah. it's like, the problems that you're gonna come across is not like a deal breaker. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Maybe maybe if I had to spend a lot of money, uh, maybe if there's like structural damage okay. with the termites, then yeah. that would have... But there was none of yeah, that. Yeah. Okay, cool. I'm like super impressed with your story and your ambition. Like you're so young, you can't even buy alcohol to celebrate. <laughs> yeah. So I guess like tell me what's next, man, like with your real estate yeah. investing career mm -hmm. in your life. Okay. Um, yeah, so tell me. So after this property, I was planning on becoming a real estate agent. Yeah, yeah. dude. You know, leveraging. Um, this this uh, purchase, you know, mm -hmm. saying like, you know, I purchased this property. Maybe I can do the same for you. So use yeah. me as a real estate agent. There you go. And when you buy stuff, you could get the commission. Yeah. Because why not? You know, yeah. there's just money on the table. Yeah. Nice. So I was thinking about becoming a real estate agent. Um, at this time, we're doing a lot of work on this property. Mm -hmm. So I'm here almost every day. So this is kind of like my your, I guess your job for now. Job for yeah. now. Oh yeah. wow! So you're buying this. You're you're doing all the repairs and cleaning yourself. Yeah. Wow, dude, that's some good. of the repairs. See, yeah. that's what, like you're a multimillionaire. You could hire someone to do all this, yeah. but you're still doing it yourself. Well, yeah, I feel like you know that's why I I, I represented myself in this yeah. transaction transaction too. Oh wow. It's because you know I could pay somebody to do it, but yeah. you know, I want the experience. Yeah, because you're gonna you be a realtor yeah, anyway. Yeah. Nice, yeah. dude. I love that about yeah, you. Yeah, like, you have so much money you can do this, but no, like you want to do it yourself yeah. and you want to, you know, put in your own elbow grease, put in your own yeah. hard work. Yeah. I really admire that about you. Yeah. So good job. In the process of acquiring this property, mm -hmm. we had some problems with the insurance. So we couldn't oh. obtain insurance on this property okay. because we couldn't get um, information from the seller pertaining to the roof, electrical and plumbing. Uh. Yeah. So they just had no records mm. and okay. that wa that's why, um, I couldn't provide any information to the insurance company. So oh, the only information they had 
was the inspection. Oh. And it, you know, inspections. Yeah, they point out everything. everything. <laughs> yeah. So my insurance premium was like 2000 more mm -hmm. than the past owner. Okay. Yeah. So um, insurance, in order to provide me coverage, they wanted me to get a licensed plumber, electrician, and a roofer to come out to inspect the property to make any necessary repairs. Oh, wow. So that's what I did. Um, I had an electrician come out here, mm -hmm. um, bring the property up to code, inspect everything, make sure everything was okay. Nice. We rented out. Yeah. What else? Um, what else is in the plan? So right now, um, after this property gets situated, everything is under control. Mm -hmm. um, hopefully not too much problems. Mm -hmm. And what I think you know, I have it all um, set. Set. Um, then I'm gonna be looking for another property. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Not and nice. I think that next one. Um, I'm looking at diversifying. So not only. So sorry to go off topic, but no, multifamily, yeah. especially right now, uh -huh. you're competing with these big corporations yeah. and banks. Yeah. And you know these hedge. hedge uh, fund, not, yeah. Maybe not hedge funds over here, yeah. but you know all these big corporations and. Multifamily is really, really um, competitive. Yeah. And single family is also competitive too. Oh, yeah. Because you have emotional buyers. Yeah. You know, people just want the house because they love the house. Yeah, and they're willing to pay. Yeah, right? really, really <laughs> willing to pay. Yeah. So, you know, and this being a five unit, mm -hmm. um, it's kind of in its own niche. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. you know, it's not a big apartment building where these big banks are going to have so much cash. Yeah, though. yeah. Um, it's like in this smaller little comp, uh, apartment uh, niche, I yes. guess. Yeah. So yeah, that, that's kind of what I want to focus on. Like okay, five, okay. Something five, like this. Yeah. Okay, another, okay. Yeah. And here in Hawaii, just only Hawaii? Yeah, just Hawaii. Okay. I mean, I think Hawaii has one of the best real estate in oh, yeah. the United the States. Country, I yeah. mean, like we live in an island. There's yeah. not going to be more more space yeah. available. Yeah. Nice. So, okay. I, I believe. Um, I don't want to move to the mainland. Definitely not. Yeah. Would you invest in the mainland? Um. Uh, possibly. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Maybe in the future when I could afford to. Yeah. <laughs> cool, man. Yeah. But dude, thank you again for taking the time yeah. to talk with me, man. No worries, bro. Thank you. Yeah.